So you guys wanted another overview of the system. Here we are back on the roof. The uh, tape's not really holding together that well. But uh, otherwise they're working really well. We've got uh, two exposed here. And one of them here we've got a tarp over top. Typically I have to cover it up for the summer because three collectors is just overkill. And uh, I've got lots of shading issues over here in the winter time so that's why I got the three collectors that basically helps me along in the winter time. So the, the insulation is holding up really well here, the EPDM stuff. And uh, we've had hot water now for, gosh, a month and a half at least. Uh, over 144 or 140 Fahrenheit on average and uh, we'll pop downstairs now I'll show you what the uh, solar block is telling us for temperature so here we are downstairs showing about uh, 12 and a half or so PSI in the system there uh, 164.6 that's up on the roof now the return temperature which is in here 153.6 this is after it comes out of the solar tank uh, we're doing currently 1.3 gallons per minute and the tank is at 149.9 Fahrenheit 150 there we go so it's plenty hot uh, it's feeding the hot water tank so the hot water tank is basically doing nothing right now if I use hot water because it's set for 140 and as you can tell there's a slight clicking sound but that's actually my electric fence uh, unit for the raccoon problem that we've got may not be able to hear it anyway this is uh, pretty much runs silent so the tanks holding together everything's good there there's no leaks no nothing I've uh, topped it off uh, twice I believe since putting the system in just through the, the fill hole here you can put a funnel in there, whatever, put a garden hose in. You just want to get the, uh, the level up above your top coil in the tank. Um, we haven't had any uh, thermal siphon issues lately. Uh, you, when your pipes come out of the tank, you've got to go down before you go up, otherwise you get a thermal siphon. Um, we've got the, uh, the hot sensor. Uh, used to be close to the tank here I moved it up further now so that uh, it's not sensing uh, super hot kind of hilarious <clears throat> I just saw that uh, the temperature sensor cable here for my hot input to the tank actually popped out so that's why I was showing zero BTUs in the last few weeks it wasn't measuring properly for the uh, Sun reports unit so that should be working just fine now Otherwise, as far as tank size goes, 210 gallons is kind of the bare minimum here in Vancouver, BC. Uh, we don't get that much sunshine. And when you have, you know, three, four, five days of uh, steady rain and no sun, the tank temperature tends to drop a bit. Every time you're taking a shower, you're dropping uh, 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit in the tank. So get as big a tank as you can afford. And with the system itself, it's working great. If you're in Calgary, yeah, you can get away with maybe an 80 or 100 gallon tank for one 30 tube collector, but definitely here where we don't get that much sun, uh, you want to get yourself as big a tank as you can afford, or even two of these two 10 gallon soft tanks, you know, one run out one after the other. Mm -hmm.